lovelies so I'm really excited to do this haul for you I went to Ikea the other week and I bought a load of Christmassy bits for my bedroom and my study I've been wanting to decorate my room for so long but I've had to control myself because I wanted to film this haul for you I posted a little Instagram photo um, of the Ikea stuff and so many of you said can I do a haul so that's what I'm going to do and because this is like a Christmassy haul I thought I might as well tie in some festive scented candles that I bought the other day as well you can't see but I've got a huge box of stuff here and it was so heavy lugging it up the stairs the first thing I got is this Christmas tree it looks really real apart from the fact that it's really all squiff and stuff the they're like the little pine thingies look really realistic so this would look really really cute in my study I'm not gonna say how much everything was because I really can't remember but it's Ikea it's never really that expensive oh, a couple of bits of wrapping paper I got this big tube of red stripey paper it reminds me of candy canes and I love it and then I just got this burgundy red kind of like paper you know the brown paper you get like brown parcel paper I think that's what you what it's called it's basically like that but in red the main reason I went to Ikea was because I wanted some bedding for Christmas now I didn't want it to be obvious Christmas bedding with like reindeers on and that but it's this red gingham bedding now I I think this was like 13 pounds maybe not even that I looked everywhere for gingham bedding because you can't buy this online at Ikea so I tried to find somewhere else that sold it and I either couldn't find a gingham that I liked or it was like really 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 expensive so um, I just thought right I'm gonna go for a little shopping trip at Ikea just so I can get this and I ended up getting loads of other stuff and it is it's really Christmassy I guess gingham is kind of Christmassy and summery like I have a gingham dress which is very summery but then I think like red gingham is very Christmassy but not in a in your face kind of way and I bet you so many people are going to have this but I don't care because I love it. Next two things I got are these little blankets or throws or whatever you call them. I've got one in red and one in white. I thought they'd look really nice over my new bedding and they're scalloped on the edge and they're just really soft and it means me and Doug now won't fight over the one throw that I have. So I got a couple of little tin they're not really vases they have like little ones for candles but I couldn't find the little ones I think they'd sold out but I basically I got a red one and a white one because I thought I could put the Christmas tree in it but it doesn't really fit but I don't think it matters too much I think that looks half alright and then in this red one I just plonked some little decorations that I had for the Christmas tree so I bought some little fairy lights and then I bought some mini baubles to go on the little tree so I just got them in white red and silver just look like that that's all I'm gonna put on the Christmas tree I just, I just want to make it look Christmassy but I don't want to spend loads of money on it because it is literally just for upstairs in my study I also got two of these little lanterns because I just think they're really pretty and they do have stars on so they are quite Christmassy but I guess you could use these all year round if you wanted to I've always wanted little lanterns and this would look really nice outside in the garden as well but I don't really have a proper garden oh god I'm clanging stuff everywhere I've only put one in my office and one in my bedroom open the door like so and take the paper out and then you put a little candle in there I've got a candle just because you can't not have enough candles and then I bought this because it was in the clearance section and I found this for 50p and I think the only reason it was 50p is because it's all unraveled and it's just like red string so I thought that would be really nice to put around Christmas presents last few things from Ikea I got these like little woven stars and then I just got two of these tartan tissue boxes because you always need tissues and I run out of tissues and they're Christmassy and then I ordered some festive candles online because I've kind of run out of candles recently and I remember last year it was kind of last January or February time a company called Kringle which is like the sister company to Yankee Candle they offered to send me a load of candles I really really liked them I didn't think anything would beat Yankee Candle but because it's the same person who does Yankee Candle they smell just as amazing they're about the same price but I think they're kind of aimed at a different 
type of Target market. So the first one I got is one that I've already had before and last Valentine's Day Doug bought me a candle from Kringle and it was a pumpkin spice or pumpkin latte um, one and he knows I love pumpkin spice lattes from Starbucks. So he got me that and I absolutely loved it and I ran out so I decided that I had to buy it again for this Christmas and so I bought a huge one of this and I actually bought this myself so last year they sent me candles and I loved the brand. I love that they're all white. You can get coloured ones from them, but I love that you can get white ones. So for example, my bedroom is quite white and so I feel like having a bright green candle or a bright orange candle can bleh, candle in this room doesn't really go. I'd rather just keep them white and minimal and so it just looks sleek and blends into my room. This is why I prefer them to Yankee Candle and that's why I didn't buy any Yankee Candles. So I have bought this myself and even though yes they did send me them last year, they've not asked me to mention them in this video. I spent all my money on this. I spent like £50 on candles. Yeah I know. Um, they came really really quick and the packaging was fine and the delivery was fine so I do recommend this is the pumpkin latte one it's a two wick one oh, just it smells so 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 good it pretty much smells just like Starbucks pumpkin latte and the second largest one that I got is another two wick one but it's a size down and it's in peppermint twist it's not that strong if you take a big whiff then the peppermint kind of hits you afterwards but I'm excited to burn this one. Next one I got, I didn't realise it was going to be so small. Like, look how small this is. And it was like £8. And it's in Mullen Spices. And that is like a proper festive smell. I love it. And then because I'd spent over a certain amount of money, they just sent me loads of little tea lights for free. And when they said they were going to send me tea lights for free, I thought they'd just be like normal tea lights. But they're all like little individual mini tea lights. And some of them are festive flavours, flavours? Festive scents. And some of them are just like, um, like here you've got raspberry jam, which obviously isn't festive. But then I've got a pumpkin latte one, and a soothing cinnamon, and home for Christmas, and peppermint twist. And I've got 18 here. These will last me ages. So that is everything. I'm really excited that I can now finally like burn my like candles and everything because I wanted to show you them before I used any of this stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!